Hi there, Pankaj here. So today we're going to talk about app in Salesforce. So the first thing that I want to make it clear is app here doesn't mean the app on Play Store. As many people have this doubt and unfortunately I was one of them. So let's keep that away in the starting and let's read what actually an app in the Salesforce ecosystem. Okay. So and also one thing by app, I mean only lightning app. Basically, apps in Lightning Experience, as you all know that Salesforce have two versions, Classic and Lightning Experience. So here, the app me app will mean apps in Lightning Experience. So hope we are clear with the few pointers. Now let's start what actually an app is. Okay, so let's read the definition. So let's read the definition. So here, an app is a collection of items that work together to serve a particular function. Simple. In Salesforce, an app is a collection of object tabs and other items all in the navigation bar. Navigation bar, you know where you go to navigate to different things okay so it's a collection of objects and tabs okay and members of your org can work more efficiently by easily switching between apps apps okay basically we could have different apps for different purposes and it's say and you can have apps depending on the needs of department in your org for example an app for the sales team or a recruitment team etc and also could have common apps in org like one for the attendant purpose where you are where you are taking keeping the track of the attendance of the employees or could be any for an event to be held in for you by your organization you could uh, you can design apps with a custom color and logo so we are clear with the definition and let's see what actually an app looks like before we jump into our org and see how we design one okay so as you can see in the below screenshot it's a screenshot of the sales app present in the salesforce even you could go and check like that and whenever you open salesforce click on this try rectangle this square thing okay and then after clicking it type sales and you would have your sales app okay so this is a place where you go oh whenever you search for any app okay now i said you can design app with a custom color and logo and this is a uh, make the color is white you could choose for your own and this is the name of the app okay so now now what i mean by the navigation bar this one is a navigation bar and as you can see here you could see different types of tabs okay and also of the objects okay like accounts contacts campaigns and files and reports and dashboard like this and also you could create your own tab and you could create your own tab also we will look into that as well okay so in the coming videos basically tab is you create a page basically like this like when you go to the a your say accounts you will have a page and you go to him you have this different components on your page so like this you could create a page and name that Pay, like hold that page and you could add that page as a tab that is what i mean by you could add custom tabs okay and we will treat with different things about the different types of tabs and also you could add your own custom tabs we will see what type of custom tabs we could add in the next slide so hope you are clear with like most of these things and also whenever you go to your uh, whenever you go to your custom tabs of the standard objects or, or any custom object you would have the option of like this plus new account you could you could get a list of various functions you could do like open the accounts like all accounts my accounts or specific things you want okay that you could do that is one of the feature here so like we are clear on here and let's see few more things about the app before we jump into our org okay so let's move to the next one and see what the things we could learn now there are things that you can you can put in a lightning app okay in the lightning app first is most standard object like all the standard objects like including home account contacts you could put there okay opportunity and other as you could see here like you could add accounts contacts and other standard objects okay and custom objects you could add that is also one thing now there are web tabs web tabs you could create it basically web tabs are basically they make you land to different url that you could create if you really want to know how you could create you could like comment down or connect with me over the linkedin where i could tell you maybe in the coming videos i might put a video if not if you are like in a hurry to learn that you could like connect with me with the ways i mentioned i just mentioned now we are clear with these things now lightning component tabs is basically L it is talking about lwc that will come in the coming video in the development side like you can see here that these are the various components like this you could create components and also some complex and sophisticated components as well that is lighting component tabs basically a tab where you will get your lighting component that you created now the lightning pages basically lighting pages is you just create pages like this 
like this one is a lightning page that I created and name it XYZ and added various components to that. So like this you could create your own lightning pages okay okay we are done here and you could see the apps like how could we have basically here you could see the standard object and custom objects that we could add it's a custom example of a lightning page as a tab name as xyz here it's just a random example okay now lightning pages we are clear lightning component we are clear web tab custom and standard we are clear now the next thing is utility which is is the utility bar is a specialized type of lightning page that gives you user quick access to common productive tools like notes and re recent items and it appears as a fixed footer like down here we will see it okay and this is the various examples of the utility utility items okay now we are clear with this now let's see how we create one app and then we will jump to our org okay let me move to the next one so this is a simple step to create an app you go to you go to app manager basically you go to your quick find and search app manager there then click that and then you select the new lightning app option and you are good to go to create your own first app so let's move to our org and see how we do, do it live okay so we are here in our org so let's move to our setup go here setup and then we go to the quick find okay app manager here you are already in the quick find So here it is, click this one, yeah it loaded, Wait. And now you go to this new lightning app, just click this one, you will land on a first page where it is asking for your app. So let's say we are creating some random app, let's say random, let's name it random, we are just creating, you could create app based on a requirement or try some examples by checking on the online what type of apps you want to create. So so we are just creating a random app that's why the name is random you could create on certain apps like the recruitment app or a finance related some app like you could do that okay or as so for now let's name it random and description we don't want and this is the color view i was talking about let's say we move it black okay now it's black now yeah, black. on the black on the darkest side we are taking not be black Okay, upload image, you could do th that on your, you could any up upload any image or a logo you want. Okay, but right now I don't have any, so I will leave it as it is and I will leave it for you. And if you f face any problem, um, you could always drop down the comment. Okay, so we let's move to the next step. Hope we are clear on this side. Let's move to the next one. So let's leave it as it is. And this is the form factors where you are showing like the where this app should be available it should be available for desktop and phone you could run salesforce in your mobile you could download salesforce mobile app and where you could use these apps and all okay or either you want this app to be available only on the desktop or only on the phone that you could do okay just create next now these are the our utility items let's add some okay let's say flows i haven't told you about flows like that would be in the coming video and those who have idea of flows know what is flows so that's one thing let's add another one let's say history and let's say we want notes okay let's have three okay just click next and let's have some object like we will here we will be selecting our uh, some of the object for the tab okay so let's select account add it click here to add or we could also remove it select it and remove it that is also one thing let to add contact contacts we have and there is no use of app without a home page so let's add a home for it okay this is our home we select this one and let's add some other one so it doesn't look kind of blank blank opportunities opportunities we had done let add leads okay leads we want to add leads we added leads that add, add some reports and dashboard we have added that and dashboard okay so we added our dashboard that is done also let's remove home to the top that we could do now home is at the top accounts and okay these are the things that we added for the tabs now let's create next and these are the profiles for which we want to make it available profiles i also told you in the previous videos 
like profiles is a set of accesses that you want to give particular users so you assign them the profiles for profiles and all we have we haven't created any videos on profiles yet but soon you will have videos on that and once they are done i would add a link here okay in the description no issue on that so let's select some few profiles maybe system admin is the first thing that comes in mind to be added let's say standard platform user standard user i think few are enough for the example okay save and finish so our app's name was random so keep that in mind so we will going to check it okay and also in this lighting app manager you could see there is one thing that i want to show you this is your app tab app type basically whether it's a classic or it's a lightning okay and this is visible in lightning basically whether the app is visible in lightning or not if it's a lightning it will always be visible but there are few classic app that could be visible in lightning you could run them in lightning but the only issue is that they would not be able to access the full functionality of the lightning experience so that's a one row back there okay so we are done here with that let's search our app okay and see how it's looking like our app name was random yeah, it's a random so we click it okay this is random we haven't selected any logo so there is no image just the name random and we have our home accounts and contacts and opportunities leads reports and dashboard all thing here and utility you could see history and flow okay so utility is also coming here that is no issue on the utility side okay so let's me also one thing like by clicking this edit you could change the order of these things okay and you can add more items from here as well like let's say we want to move opportunities above and let's save it and we will have our opportunities okay here and you could also add more items here like all and you could like all we will have these things and you could add on them okay that is also one thing for that so that's all from my from my side it thanks for watching see you in the next video